is a wealthy place. So God's original plan is to extend his kingdom on the earth. The kingdom you and I belong to knows no poverty. Can you hear what I'm saying? Poverty is not in his kingdom. God speaking said, the silver is mine and the gold is mine, said of hosts, Haggai 2.8. He said the silver and gold, they are mine. They are not, devil is not the owner of them. Satan does not own them. So, here. so we are supposed to reflect heaven on earth. If you can't manage 100 naira, you will never go to 500. If you can't manage 500, God will not promote you to 1,000. And when you mismanage it, you lose it. So here. God has no money problem. His children have management problem. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have no shadow of doubt that this video is going to be a blessing to you and your ministry. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click the bell notification, and give me a thumbs up if you really like this video. Let's watch the full video next to this one. Now hear this and hear me well. Every kingdom reflects in the colony. Now, now for instance, Nigeria was colonized by Britain. Is that true? And if you come to Nigeria, you see the culture of Britain in Nigeria. True. Now, your forefathers were not wearing suits. They began to wear suits because the British man colonized you. You can see the reflection of the British man in Nigeria through. The bureaucracy of Nigeria was taken from Britain. The lifestyle. Are you getting what I'm saying? Even if we have to change our languages to speak English. True. There's a reflection of Britain on Nigeria because that's the colony. Is that true? And they call it the Commonwealth. Is that true? If heaven is where you came from, then there should be a reflection of heaven in your life. Are you getting me now? And he said, the streets of heaven are paved with gold. Are paved what? So there's no poverty in heaven. Poverty is an anatomy in heaven. Now, let me say this to you to humble you. If you don't want to prosper, they are not ready for heaven. Because he said, the streets of heaven, don't be holier than God. So if you say, I don't like, I don't like to be rich, I don't like to be wealthy, then you are saying, I don't like to go to heaven. Because your heaven where you're coming from, your country where you're coming from, there's no poverty. Yes, you are born in Ghana, you are born in Nigeria, but your true citizenship is in heaven. Are you getting what I'm talking about? And that place does not know poverty. This is the last day you go through hardship. You know, your mentality will define your level of dignity. If you think that you don't come from heaven, then you suffer here. I'm from heaven. Where are you from? Say the place I come from. There's no poverty. He said, the art is the laws and the fullness thereof. So your father is the owner of everything. Psalm 24 verse 1. And if God, your father, is the owner, then the children of the devil cannot be the first to be. Now, listen carefully, if it is natural. If you have children, and your children say we're hungry, do you give your neighbor's children first or your children? So if God is your father, then you should be the one who should get the blessings first. True? Glory to God. Wealth in the kingdom is primarily for the accomplishment of his purpose on the earth. The reason God gives wealth is to accomplish his purpose. Accomplish what? If that is not known, abuse is inevitable. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, it says, But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee Power to get wealth. Understand what it says. God said, I will empower you. This I will give you money. He said, but I will empower you. I will endow you with my ability to produce. Are you getting what God is saying here? Power means dynamics in the Greek world. He said, I will give you my divine ability. I will give you my divine endowment to get wealth. That he may establish his covenant which is sworn to thy fathers as it is this day. Power is the ability or skill to establish his purpose. Let me ask you this question. When wealth comes, first thing you should think about is what do I do with it? If you don't think that first, you may think money when it comes is for yourself first. You know what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6? And verse 24, then I'll read 31 to 33. He said, no man can serve two masters. That means, <laughs> Jesus said, Satan is not a problem. Satan is not a what? 
Listen. God said there are only two masters competing for everybody, not the devil. He said, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else we hold on to the one and despite the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. That mammon is money. God said there are only two things that compete for me to serve. Either you serve me or you serve God. You serve uh, money. Listen, people who go to a call don't like the devil. It's money they went for. He said you either serve me or serve the money. So here. He said there are only two things competing for you. Either me, God, or your money. So here. It's a no neutral ground. You either serve me or you serve money. No, money, money is the only thing people hold like this. Everything can be exposed if you watch humanity. Money is the only thing they put inside post. That's how money. <laughs> Person can put their gold on the table. Have you said, put, put money inside post? No one is saying, I own it. Nobody should touch it. There, nobody puts a little side post except money, true? To tell you how man <laughs> values money. That's the only thing they, they say, that shall not see. It's my boss. Now hear this and hear me well. In verse 31, therefore take no thought, saying, what shall we eat? <laughs> or what shall we drink? Or where shall we be clothed? Now, if you agree with me, that's what everybody's thinking about. How will I pay my house rent? How am I going to wear clothes? How am I going to do this one? Bogus said, take no talk. Take no what? And he does the plan us. And that's what, even your prayer request now, that's what is on the request. God said, take no talk for school fees. That's strange. That's what? Take no talk for the house rent. Is that not strange? But uh, you agree with me, that's what you're taking talk for. True? For after these things, do the Gentiles, those who don't know Christ, this is what they pursue. This is what they, that's what they pursue. For your heavenly father, knowing that you have needs of this thing. Say, I know you need good cars. Don't pretend. I know you need it. I know you need good houses. I know you need money. God said, let me be very raw. He said, I know you need it. Don't say you don't need it. You need it. But he said, but change your mentality and perspective to seek me first. Don't put your need in front of me. Don't allow your need to cover you and blind you. Put me first. Put my kingdom first. The kingdom where you came from, where there's no poverty, put it first. And all these things that the world is pursuing shall be added unto you. Shout a better hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout a better hallelujah. hallelujah. He said, put me what? First and see if I will not put this in so you may God add them to you in the name of Jesus. Now, when the first man, Adam, was created in the Garden of Eden, there was no day Adam prayed for wealth. Adam was stupendously wealthy. He did not build from a pool. He had pools all over. Adam did not want to say, Jesus' name, I need breakthrough. He was inside breakthrough. Adam was so wealthy that there was no prayer request of any need. But he mismanaged it. He did what? He mismanaged it. Money is not an issue to God, but the challenge is with managing it. Money has never been an issue what? To God. The major challenge is how to manage. He said, let us make man in our own image. And after our likeness. And let them have what? Dominion. Let them manage all that we have created. So the purpose why God created you was to manage his resources. He said, now I'm putting you here as a manager. Take charge of everything I've created. Say here. If God then created man and put that way. So then, what is required of you and I? What is there required of us? If we are to manage, if we are to what? Adam mismanaged what God gave to him. He said, take everything here. It all is your own. Take it. These are the rules. These are the what? The rules. 
And then Adam just all of a sudden mismanaged what God gave to him. And God says, since you have mismanaged it, give it back to me. I collect it from you. Every time you mismanage what God gives to you, he takes it back. It's right here. If you can't manage 100 naira, you will never go to 500. If you can't manage 500, God will not promote you to 1,000. And when you mismanage it, you lose it. It's right here. God has no money problem. It shouldn't have management problem. Thank you for watching the video to this far. I have a book for you in the description and title. Get this book from Amazon or send a free donation to the number on the screen. And I'll forward a soft copy to you wherever you find yourself. Always remember, a winners never quit, a waiters never win. Yes, okay.